Hey everybody, it's Derek here. Thanks as always for stopping by. So today I wanted to talk about a book that, I don't know, last year or the year before it seemed like wherever you went, anywhere you looked, couldn't help but bump into this book or see it somewhere. And uh, I want to talk about it. All right, guys. So today we're talking about Where the Crawdads Sing, written by Delia Owens. Um, it was okay. I put it at two stars. I was kind of bored through most of it. I would say the best part of this book was uh, its atmosphere. Um, I don't know if atmosphere is the right word for it, but uh, she's she's uh, got a background in zoology and uh, written a lot for like African Journal of Ecology, International Wildlife, uh, you know, and a lot of these sort of nature publications. And you can tell that that's definitely where she shines. She certainly paints a beautiful picture of coastal North Carolina. Uh, and, you know, you definitely get this sense of being, you know, right there in, in the marshlands and uh, all of the beauty that you can see in bogs. I would say outside of that, the story was lacking. Uh, I couldn't really come into too great a sympathy with the main character. I don't know why. I guess, I mean, it was somewhat heartbreaking there how the main character had grown up. But there just seemed something disingenuous about this book. I'm not sure why. It was a New York Times bestseller. So, I mean, it's quite likely it's just my taste was, was different than the majority. But I certainly, uh, there's so many books out there that uh, I think are better. I could have not read this and I don't think I would have missed it. Now, this was actually published in 2018, like around six years ago, right? And, uh, but it seems like I, I had never really seen this book before. Not, I, I think maybe here and there, uh, I recognized it, but it seemed like, I don't know, about last year or the year before, like I mentioned at the outset, like you couldn't, you couldn't turn around without seeing this book. So I don't know if all of a sudden, uh, somebody shone a light on it and was like, everybody, you got to read this book. And it had a lot of clout and that's how it got uh, the reception it did. But if you're really interested in like nature writing, that sort of atmospheric literary fiction, uh, maybe this is for you. I mean, if it's a New York Times bestseller, it must mean that there's some sort of standard to it. You know, it can't be all that bad. But personally, I had a hard time getting into it. You've also got some pretty impressive press on the back here. I saw there was a review by Reese Witherspoon and there was some uh, comparison to Barbara Kingsolver. Uh, who I, I quite like her writing as well. She's not my favorite, but you know, as the mainstream goes, she's all right. So if you're into that sort of thing, then maybe this is right up your alley. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments if you read this, what you thought of it. And I especially want to hear it from you if uh, you disagree with my assessment of it. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Hey everyone, I hope you liked this video. If you want more like the one you just watched, click the suggested video on this screen. Make sure you subscribe and to connect with me on my other platforms, my handles are linked below in the description. All right. Take care peeps. Till next time.